Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I want to talk about a new feature which is available in the EVLink advanced plan which is the EVLink cast. This EVLink cast is basically a web page which allows you to create multiple pages and at the moment I'm only created a single page which is called the office and in these pages you can uh, place your devices and you can also play some manual scenes. So you have an easy dashboard from which you can control your devices. So for example, if I want to control the CH Pro, which is over there, I can just do it from here and then it activates the outputs. Or, um, yeah, the wall switch, which is down there. Oops, down there. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the sun shines on it, so you can't really see the LEDs, but actually it is on. So you can control this and uh, I mean you might just say that um, I can have the EVLink application to do the same. I think here the idea is that uh, in uh, this screen you only have access to the basic controls. So if you want to use it as a touch panel, maybe like a fixed mounted tablet like this one, then you can do that. And then whoever has, whoever has access to this doesn't really have access to any of the settings functions because all you can do here is uh, you know go between the different screens so you can have you know maybe multiple tablets and then one for upstairs one for downstairs you can control which uh, devices are visible on each of them which are the scenes that you can trigger and um, it just makes a really easy user interface and this is just a web page so you can run it on any device i have a an ipad here but maybe you can reuse an old phone an old android tablet to do this and of course, if you just trigger the on the scene, then you just get a message that the scene has been triggered. But uh, it's uh, you know fairly an easy thing. And as I said, it is part of the uh, EVLink uh, web page design and the web access, which is only available in the advanced plan. So if you want to have this, then uh, you have to subscribe to this plan, which I think it's ten bucks for a year. So. It's not a, a lot of money, but you need to consider this. And of course, to set this up, you have to visit the EVLink uh, web page where you can control all your devices as well. And then on top of these, you can create those screens. So I'm going to show you how this is done. So there are two different pages to remember. One is the cast.evlink.cc and the other one is the web.evlink.cc. So on the cast, well, that's pretty much the same screen what you have seen on my iPad previously. So again, obviously, you need to log in with the same credentials that you use in the evlink application. And you can see all the devices here as well. And as I said, you can edit them in the web.evlink.cc. The only other thing I wanted to say is... Uh, there are different ways how you can make this full screen on either an Android or an iPad. There are full screen browsers as well. Also on the iPad, there is a possibility that you create a shortcut of the page on the web on your desktop or, or your home screen on your iPad. And when you open it, it should open it without the, you know, the navigation bars. But for some reason, it doesn't work with this. I think it the web page needs to have some special tags which uh, it looks like evlink or uh, it hasn't included so you still get the you know the navigation bar and the address bar but you can find full screen browsers in the in the app store or in the google play store if you need that so let me go into the evlink web again i have logged in with my credentials so i have my web dashboard as well which I have covered in a separate video and you can see that uh, it has some of the new devices that I featured and then it also has a couple of devices that are still not supported for example the NS panel is not yet supported although I don't think it really needs to be here because there's nothing uh, to be controlled there but again you can see all these different devices that I can you know switch from here and you have this cast screen here or this cast menu here which is in it says it's in beta so this is where you create all the different ski, uh, screens so you can have you can create a new screen you can uh, you can give it a name and when i edit i get the same screen back so you can give it a name so that's the name of your screen which uh, appears here and uh, basically you have two different options. You can select the devices that you want to appear in the um, screen. And you are not going to see all your devices here because you will only see the devices that are supported. So um, for example, 
I have my HMI wall screen here and uh, I was I was trying to add my L2 LED strip but I couldn't so that's not available in the list either and at the moment I can't even see the the light bulb either so again there are some uh, some stuff that is not supported at the moment but I'm guessing they would be supported soon so I think at the moment it's pretty much like you know simple switches or multi-gang switches which you can control uh, this time and then you also have the scenes so these are all the scenes that are you know tap to start so the manual scenes and you can just select them what to appear and they just appear as a you know separate buttons on the top and you can also create a pin code for a, a specific screen so again if you have some security related stuff you can put it behind the pin code but um, that's pretty much it so you make the changes and you save and then you have a scene so if i you know rename this to office test and then i save and if i come back here then now it's called the office test so it is really easy to set up and as you can see you can just visit this site and and then you get this screen let me just rename this so i think it's um it's a nice and an easy addition to the application and this web interface. So you can just decide which one you like best. Again, I think the main uh, point about this uh, as opposed to the application is that it's a much simpler interface. You don't have access to settings. So you can give this uh, screen or control to someone who you don't want to you know, mess around with your settings. You just give them a set of devices and a set of scenes and they can just trigger them. That's pretty much it. But I think that would be pretty much all about this uh, cast, uh, evilink cast functionality. If you are interested, I'm going to leave the links in the video description. I mean, it's mostly, mostly going to be the uh, link to the web version where you would be able to uh, set up the screens. But also, if you want to upgrade to this advanced plan, uh, you will find the link to this one, which is vip.evlink.cc. And as you can see, the price for this is still $9.90 per year. And of course, you are getting some additional functionality that some of them I've already covered in separate videos as well. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next episode.